Catherine Beecher was born on September 6, 1800, in East Hampton, New York. As the oldest child of Reverend Lyman Beecher and his first wife, Roxana, she dedicated her life to the education of women and creating a space where they could become competent and confident in their societal prescribed role of homemaker. Roxana started a small school in their house when Catherine was just five. Catherine recalled that when her mother was giving lessons, her father would come out of his study and go into the sitting room under the schoolroom and begin to play the violin as loud as he could. Mother would come into the room, quietly walk up to him, and would take the violin out of his hands, go upstairs, and lay it on her table in the schoolroom. Thus began Catherine's own journey towards promoting education for girls. By 1810, Catherine was attending Miss Pierce's School for Young Ladies in Litchfield, Connecticut, a celebrated girls' school that focused mostly on social skills. But when Catherine was only 16, her mother passed away. Catherine withdrew from school to help care for her seven younger siblings. She learned to cook and develop her domestic skills. The following year, Lyman Beecher married Harriet Porter. Catherine eventually became the oldest sister of 11 siblings. In 1819, Catherine traveled to visit relatives and explore her teenage thoughts. She then became engaged to Alexander Fisher in early 1822. He was brilliant in his field of natural philosophy and became a Yale professor at the age of 24. However, her fiance died during a shipwreck later in 1822. Catherine inherited money and access to his writings. Both of these enabled and influenced her own work in education. In 1823, Catherine started the Hartford Female Seminary in Hartford, Connecticut. For eight years, the seminary dominated Catherine Beecher's life. Yet the school was, for her, always a means rather than an end. She used it to define her relationship with culture and to develop social, religious, and intellectual leadership. In 1832, Catherine moved with her father and several family members, including Harriet, to Cincinnati. Lyman's role was to become the first president of the Lane Theological Seminary. Catherine started a school called the Western Female Institute, located at 4th and Sycamore Streets. The school provided an education to girls in a variety of subjects, including math and science. However, enrollment decreased after the controversial Lane Seminary debate. The national economic downturn of 1837 forced the school to close permanently. Throughout her educational career, Catherine wanted to ensure that teachers were more competent, girls learned academic skills, and schooling expanded as the nation moved westward. Over the course of her career, she founded several schools for young women, advocated for women to take on teaching positions, and elevated the ideas of housekeeping to a scientific field. This domestic engineering ideal was prominent here at the Beecher family home. Catherine used space here as she was writing her popular book, A Treatise on Domestic Economy, first published in 1841. It included topics like how the heart and human body work, what exercises children and adults should perform, complete with diagrams, the best layout of a home in terms of efficiency and ventilation. She also created a cookbook to complement it. She continued publishing on home economics for the remainder of her career. Although she was important as a women's educator, Catherine's ideals sometimes had negative consequences. By promoting women as teachers, it caused lower wages overall in the teaching profession that still has effects today. Unlike her sisters, Harriet and Isabella, Catherine was not in favor of women getting the right to vote. She thought politics was outside the woman's sphere. Instead, women should voice their political ideals by teaching and influencing male family members. Overall, Catherine promoted the ideals of women caring for the home and serving as the educators of society. By professionalizing these women's sphere activities, she advocated for women's role to be considered just as important as men's role in society. Catherine Beecher died in Elmira, New York in 1878. She had spent her life on social reform issues. Catherine used her power of voice to promote women's education and elevate household management to a science.
And now, Ruth is going to tell us about the Beecher Family Home's direct connection to Catherine's domestic engineering writings. This room was originally the kitchen. We attributed this room to Catherine Beecher because of her interest in domestic arts. She most likely used this room as her test kitchen when she was writing her book of the treatise on domestic economy. She could have tested out the recipes as well as tried different layouts in this room. You can see the original brick of the fireplace as well as this insert that was put in 1908. When the Ohio History Connection was doing research, they found the original beehive oven hidden in the wall. Beehive ovens were used in the 1830s and 40s to bake bread, similar to what pizza ovens are used today. 